What's up guys? Welcome to another Build It Break Garage episode. Today's episode, I'm gonna be installing these LED strips along the headlights of Midori. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the headlights off. We're gonna go ahead and wire these in. Now these also go into the flasher. Uh, these also flash with the turn signals, so we have to wire that in. So basically, uh, I need to be able to take these off with the headlights and I don't wanna hardwire them into the car. So I got these USB extension cords and I'm gonna show you guys how I take one of these and make it a uh, plug basically and uh, wire it in so that way I can take it off with the headlight if I have to take it off. So uh, yeah, uh, strap yourselves in and uh, get ready for the ride. I'll throw you up in the GoPro and uh, enjoy me watch tearing apart the front of the car. Well, I got the headlights off, and uh, this is actually gonna be a little bit easier than I even thought it was going to be, as I have already wired up these headlights to have, this is my uh, quote-unquote daytime running light, um, so my, they're constantly on with the headlights, so obviously this is my 12 volt source, and that, the blue wire is my turn signal, so I don't have to do any kind of tracing or anything. The next thing to do is we're gonna be going ahead and cutting up this, and uh, getting the wires to be exposed so I can wire them up into there. So yeah, uh, enjoy watching that. So first things first, cut the USB cable in half and then expose the wires like this. Now, the, they all have four wires in them. Uh, most of the time they are black, red, green, and white. So. The green and white wires are pretty thin, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to double those up and use those for the turn signal connection. Uh, that way it has enough current at least. I mean, they are only running LEDs, so it's not like they have to be the biggest wires. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the cables ready, and then I'm going to start splicing them in. Alright guys, so now that I got all four of the extensions cut, now it's time to cut into this cord right here and wire in the plug on this side and uh yeah so i'm gonna go do that right now all right guys well i got the first one wired on uh so they got the female end on as you can see i use some heat shrink crimp on tubing and then electrical taped it up so now I have a plug that I can plug into uh, right now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna clean up the bottoms of the headlights and try to get those LEDs to stick to them now I don't trust that this two-way tape on these are gonna hold that well but they'll at least hold at least tonight hopefully so we shall see Well, I got it wired up and uh, it works. So now I got purple LED going around the headlight. And the cool part is, is that it plugs in and over with this USB plug like so. So that way I can take it off with the headlight. Now to just do the exact same thing on the other side and uh, yeah, go ahead and get both of them working. And then, I, and then I have to time the turn signals because these also go with the turn signals. As you can see, these go with the turn signals, but you can see right now it's out of time. And luckily I have an adjustable flasher box, so I'll be able to actually get that to sync up. So, yeah, so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna keep going, and uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I can get the other side going just as easy as I got this side. Okay, and I got the passenger side all uh, wrapped up. So now, boom, I have both of them purple, they look pretty wicked, and then they also will do the turn signals, so I gotta try to sync them up a little bit better with the turn, uh, the flashers, but anyway, I'm gonna get the front bumper on really quick and give you guys, uh, or show you guys that really fast, and boom, just like that, got the front bumper back on. It fits a little tight, those uh, are really close to the bumper edge, but uh, it works pretty good. 
but it looks really good. I actually really dig the hell out of this. So anyway, uh, that should be it for this video, but uh, we are going to be boosting this car, so there's going to be more videos coming with stuff going on with uh, how to uh, get the intercooler and everything lined up, matched up, and make an intercooler pipe, so be on the lookout, be sure to subscribe, yeah. Um, you guys go ahead and have a nice day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be seeing you later. Peace.